Hi, this is Joachim from Materialize. In this tutorial video, we'll talk about the marking tool in Magix. Marking is an essential tool used in combination with other functions such as fixing, editing or support generation. The marking tool allows to mark a whole STL file or just some triangles, planes, surfaces and shells on this file. Before we start, I'm going to switch to the triangle view for a clearer explanation. Now let's zoom in and get started with the various entities you can mark. The first is the Mark Triangle tool. A triangle is the basic building element of an STL file. When this tool is activated, you can click on triangles to mark them one by one. In order to apply marking through the part, hold Ctrl while clicking on a triangle. Like this. You can use the same shortcut with different marking tools to mark through your part. You can unmark triangles by clicking on them again. And for now, let's unmark the rest of the triangles using the unmark all button here. Let's move to the mark plane tool. A plane is defined by the distance and the angle between a click triangle and its surrounding triangles. Planes do not take curvature into account. Within tolerance values, a plane can be considered relatively flat. You can change these tolerance values from the settings of magic. You can unmark a plane by clicking on it again. Next comes the surface marking tool. Yeah. In magics, surfaces are defined by wireframes. Unlike planes, surfaces do take curvature into account. You can unmark a surface by clicking on it again. Next on is the mark shell tool. A shell is an uninterrupted connection of triangles. When I click on the part here using mark shell, the whole part is marked because all the triangles are uninterruptedly connected to each other. You can also unmark a shell by clicking on it again. These entity options can be combined with various selection options. Initially, each of these entities is combined with the mark window selection option here. With this tool, you can draw a window and mark all the triangles, planes, surfaces or shells that are inside it, as well as the triangles in contact with its edges. Alternatively, if you press Alt while drawing the window, it will be locked as a square. If you simply click, you only mark the current triangle. Similar to the previous marking tools, you can mark through a part by pressing Ctrl while drawing a window. In order to unmark a certain region, press Shift while drawing a window. In order to unmark through, press Ctrl Shift and draw a window, like this. You can use the same method for other marking tools that you see on the screen. Next is the Mark Brush tool, here. All the triangles touching the brush line will be marked with this tool. For finer or bigger brush, you can change the brush size by pressing Ctrl while scrolling up and down. Or you can directly change the size in the toolbar. You can also mark a freeform region. Simply click and draw the form with your mouse. When you let go of your mouse button, Magix will complete the line and apply the marking. You can also mark a polygon. You click on the corners of the polygon and when you right-click, it will close the polygon, like this. You can also mark an ellipse. Click on two points to indicate the axis of the ellipse, and then you can choose a third point to finish the ellipse. Alternatively, you can press the Alt button and create a circle. First point, second point, and my circle. Note that when you're in marking mode, holding the Control button while you right-click, will give you access to a context menu to easily switch between selection tools. The window, freeform polygon and ellipse triangle marking can also be combined with remesh. Here. Remeshing is a very precise marking method. By choosing these options, the triangles touching the edge of the marking region will be redrawn. Therefore, only the triangles within the desired region will be marked. Let's give you a quick demonstration.
In addition to all these, Magix offers more tools to make marking easier for you. For example, the mark color tool that will mark all connected triangles in a single color. The mark horizontal tool that will mark all the horizontal triangles and the mark vertical tool that will mark all vertical triangles. There is an invert marked option to invert the marked triangles on the part. And there's shrink and expand tools that will narrow down or expand your selection by one triangle at a time, like this. There is an option to delete marked triangles. But for now, let's undo this. There is also an option to hide triangles. Here. Thanks to this option, you can actually mark a few triangles, hide them from view, and expect the inside of a part without a problem. If you'd like to invert the visibility, you can use the Invert Triangle Visibility tool. Like this. Finally, in order to make all the triangles visible again, use the Make All Visible tool. Thank you for watching, and please make sure to check our other tutorial videos. For further questions about our software, please do not hesitate to contact the support line of your nearest materialized office.